nurse team leader at Port Isaac and community matron at Port Isaac so a joint role um, I've enjoyed attending these three days and I've got a lot from it in sh shifting the emphasis really in how I think about services that can be provided to patients I was asked to bring a case study um, to the session and I thought of a patient that I've got that I'm very involved with the patient and his parents and I was able to present that um, through the days um, through doing that and having a, a access to a variety of different agencies and and people I probably wouldn't have actually thought of using and discussing the patient's care. Um, I was able to think about his care differently and other services that could actually help and benefit, so rather than the normal statutory organisations. And through that, I actually was able to, get, was given some options of things that I hadn't thought of for them, even though I've worked with the patient for um, eight years now. And I was able to ring them um, and offer something completely different, which was taking the family as a whole out in a mini bus provided by the voluntary sector that was going to give a whole different opportunity for them to spend time together as a family that would really enhance their lives and give them good memories for the future um, and so I actually rang on the way home from the second session just to offer it to them and they were really pleased to take it up and it was just so nice to be able to offer something completely different for that family and that has made a difference now to how I think going forward about using other agencies so I think the day's been really useful. I'm Estelle Ward, I'm a district nurse team leader covering uh, the GP practice in Bodmin and Los Withiel. Um, I've been at these um, days, the first day where it was just our local team, um, which was a really excellent day bringing us all together, thinking about how we can work together as a team um, of health professionals within our locality. And then the second day that um, attending and obviously following on today, I um, was looking at our wider teams and it was an excellent opportunity about networking with the many services that are out there um, which not necessarily we work with we work alongside on a day-to-day -day basis but it's really opened up those conversations and that networking with people um, are from the whole array of services that um, we're involved in on a day-to-day -day but don't really link in with 
Um, I got the opportunity as well on my second day and my first day to uh, present a case study around a patient that uh, my t myself and my team have been um, involved in um, in our locality. Uh, a really complicated patient um, that I was able to share all the complexities around the health and the social needs that we have been struggling with really um, and it was through good um, intervention with uh, pro professionals uh, with multidisciplinary working um, and actually have done some really good things for the patient but actually coming to the day yesterday and sharing that wider with the wider team is giving me the opportunity to look at other things not just around the patient story but about the family unit um, and linking in with the voluntary services and also um, through social care which are involved but those questions that I wouldn't necessarily have thought about about with the patient being now admitted to the acute sector what's going to happen in that environment um, with a grandson um, and what's going to happen there when we actually discharge our patient so it's those thoughts and those things that I now am able have got that insight to follow through um, at my next MDT meeting which I've planned um, I'm able to go back and look at other services that we can follow that care on even though the patient herself is actually going to go into hospital we still need to be very mindful about that family unit for her coming home um, so it's really opened up my eyes really to those other services and, and what really what we can offer people as families and communities um, and that's the work really from today um, coming back together as a local team um, where I can now go on and share this with my team and how we can progress for the patients in our care. Um, so I've really, really enjoyed um, these having the opportunity to spend two and a half days with lots of like-minded people. Made some brilliant links. I have some really good links already, but I've made some other brilliant links, and I've linked in with Andy from Wadebridge, who wanted a breathers group. So I've linked in with my breathers group representative from Listgard, who is now going to go down there on Tuesday and help them sort that group out already. Um, the case study that I brought was a really, really complicated case study um, and I think there's some, some bits that I'm going to be able to take away from here, <laughs> hopefully it's about restoring tractors, um, but I've found a man that does that and hopefully we'll be able to link in and get that gentleman out of the house and link in with his community again.